Today we're going to be drawing the Mandalorian, Din Djarin himself. Uh, fantastic character and a absolute pop culture phenomenon. So I know you guys have been asking for this one. He's finally here. Uh, the wait is over. Thank you for being patient. Thank you for dealing with my lazy butt and finally getting around to making this drawing tutorial because I know you guys have been waiting. So let's not wait anymore and let's begin this tutorial. Enjoy. So the first part of drawing Mando is going to be to go ahead and add in that horizontal line that forms the top of the T visor. And from there, we'll go ahead and add in the other lines that form that T all the way. Once we have the basic shape of the T-visor down, we'll go ahead and add the earpiece as well as the rest of the helmet. Just in basic lines, we'll go through and define the parts that we like later on. Now that we have a helmet shape that we're pleased with, we're gonna go ahead and add in the neck as well as the cape and also go ahead and start making that uh, collarbone part of the armor there. From there, we'll go ahead and add in the armor plates that cover the pecs um, and then kind of work our way down into the abdominal area too.
From there, we'll add the pleats to the cape and do the basic outline for the shoulder pads. Mando also has this bandolier that goes across his chest and connects to his waist belt. So we'll go ahead and sketch that on. And then we'll also go ahead and add in some uh, thin little boxes for the ammo canisters that he has for his Ambin rifle. And we're just gonna go ahead and add those lightly so that we can see where the placement is. And if we like it, we'll go ahead and do a more permanent version. After that, we'll add some wrinkles into the clothing now that we have the cape outline mostly done as well as the arms, just to make that clothing look a little bit more uh, realistic and add some texture to the sketch. Also, don't forget to add a little mud horde signet.
We'll also go ahead and draw in the little bits on his belt. Uh, he has these little detonators that are just circles. I didn't get super detailed with these because every time I draw Mando, I it's such a pain. So I just drew a circle and then a circle inside it later um, and moved on to the buckles and all that other stuff. So it's really up to personal preference. If you want to add more detail to the detonators, you can. I just don't like to. Now that our base sketch for the Mandalorian is done, we're gonna go ahead and add in some little, uh, just some little lines to make the armor look like it has a different texture than the clothing, um, as well as adding some little dirt and grime here and there. Mando's mostly pretty shiny and clean, so don't add a whole lot, um, but if you wanna go for a battle damage look, you totally can. And then we'll go ahead and uh, add some light in the visor and shade that in a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's about it. is the 
Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you want to see more drawing tutorials, I have a whole playlist on my channel, as well as some Patreon exclusive drawing tutorials, which can be seen right here. So if you're at all interested in that, go check it out. There's a link in the description. And uh, thank you so much for watching. May the force be with you, always. Or wait, hang on, should I? This is the way. See you guys.